Man, oh man. I can't believe we got the great Robert Miles here in our office. <laughs> it's an honor, Uncle B. Honor's all mine, son. And after getting a closer look at your operation, I feel much better about moving forward with you on this. All right. It's a class act. Oh, well, thank you. I mean, I did pick out all the furniture. Fascinating. <laughs> what my man Pete here means to say is that you have an eye for detail. Thank you. Not exactly. Speaking of detail, why don't we discuss the details of how we might be able to move forward with this potential partnership? All right. That was a smooth little segue there. <laughs> Thank you kindly. Pete, why don't you take the reins on this? Gladly. Now, as we all know, we were initially set to move forward with Shep. Until very recently here, where Uncle Bobby had one of his famous changes of heart. Hey, the heart wants what it wants, right? Yes. 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 Well, we still need an athlete with Shep's market saturation in order for us to successfully launch our national campaign. And to be quite frank with you, MP, in order for us to feel comfortable replacing Shep with you, you'll need to accomplish three things. All right, cool, let's hear it. First of all, you need to get a shoe deal. That should go without saying. Absolutely. Okay, that's, that's yes. no problem. You also need to endorse some deal with a high profile sports beverage. Which one? Anyone, something you can get at a gas station or a supermarket. Look, studies show that without a shoe deal and a sports beverage, professional athletes don't have enough clout to influence the purchasing habits of households with a combined income of 100K or more. And that's a key demographic for us. What? What studies are you referencing? Because I, I haven't seen those numbers. Finally, we're also going to need a third national endorsement deal, anything within reason. A third national endorsement deal? That's, that's, that is a lot to get done in a short amount of time. Yeah. Uh, and I think we should approach this reasonably. Be yeah, reasonable. No reasonable. You guys, this tribe is entitled to nothing. You want this national commercial, MP, you're gonna have to earn it. Nothing is given. Pete, here is a lot of things, slightly abrasive being one of them, hmm. but he's excellent at his job. And if Pete says MP needs three national endorsement deals, then MP needs three national endorsement deals. Okay. All right, all right. that sounds fair. I mean, those are, those are all things that we're working towards anyway. So. We're good then. That's true. You knock out those deals and we'll play ball. Great. Uncle Bobby, I just want to say it's an honor to have you here in this room working with us as someone who grew up in the city. I've always looked up to you and the example you've set. You mm -hmm. are an inspiration. That's wonderful to hear, but flattery will only get you so far. I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> well, in that case, thank you for your kind words. Uncle B, I'm also very excited for these challenges. And once I tick those boxes, I look forward to having you back in this office and uh, discussing what's next, man. Truly got a deal, kid. All right. <laughs>